Miss Frizzle coming at you. We are, it's the evening time. Hi. Olivia and I are little twinners. twinners. I copied Olivia's outfit because she looked so cute the other day. It was my new boots. Yes, we both had the same items and so I'll show, I'll show when it's time. Um, we are on our way out the door to a little cookie class. There's a lady in town that makes my cookies for like birthdays and stuff and they're the best sugar cookie I've ever had in my life. Like the best sugar cookie I've ever had in my life. And she gives the um, she gives the recipe in these classes, so I signed up for a class. <laughs> and yeah, so I thought that would be really fun for Olivia and I to go do it together. So okay, <laughs> I will link our boots. Olivia's pants are just general leggings. Mine are not just general leggings. These are Bali leggings, but they are sold out. It came with the set with the top. And I knew that once people got word of how amazing they were, they would sell out. That's how all of the items are of this collection. I couldn't be more proud. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, I have no idea where the shirts came from. Jack, Levi jackets, you know, whatever. Check it. Uh, <laughs> so cute. I just like doing this with you. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Have fun. Thanks. So, me and Lady are going to hang out. Do you know what I don't think we've done enough of is span how beautiful I think our little setup is. I think it's beautiful because it feels good. Oh, it feels like Christmas. We just got done picking up the house. So many people were like, how come you didn't film decorating? You know what? I'm going to tell you exactly why. I was so burnt out that I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Hey, this Vaughn. is like whatever, but. Hey, Vaughn. Yeah. I just have one quick comment. Yeah. Here. What? You make it feel like Christmas. You make it feel like Christmas. Stephanie said it right. I just was feeling really burned out and we did it over the span of a couple of days. It just was different this year, huh? Like usually it's like a production. We just didn't. We didn't even put up Christmas lights outside. It's because I took them down like two months ago, so. Yeah, so we may have dropped the ball a little bit oh, in oh, the decorating the video stairs. department. Sorry about that. We'll do better next year, I promise. It's 5.59, oh, it's six o'clock. We oh. made it just in time. We're doing it at a place called the Freckle Farm. This is where we did a Bali photo shoot one time. Um, we come here and do like plants and it looks like everyone is already seated, so we gotta hurry. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, da, 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 da. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but Here's her cookie. We're going to okay. try and mimic it on this. We took a picture so we could look at it. So let's first outline it. This is actually much more stressful than you would imagine. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't know what I'm doing. Huh? Oh, that was stressful. Go to bed. Better than that. <laughs> Olivia's just happy she's not in bed. Yep. Olivia, that looks really good. Trust You're doing so on. good. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Fill in the roof. Olivia feels like Elf. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I feel like a mad woman vlogging <sighs> and icing. I feel like I'm in school and I'm not cutting. I know. I'm not making the grade. I know. Failing in school all over yep. again. Yep. Art, like art class fiasco 101. <laughs> <laughs> she just told us this is intermediate. The what is this called? Knitting, like um, a yeah, it's a knit pattern. Yeah, which is very cruel because we are not intermittent. <laughs> we are beginners, but that looks really good. That looks really good for ten year old. It does. Olivia is the youngest one here. <laughs> I'm honestly learning so much, and I can't remember if I was vlogging back when I used to do sugar cookies, but I used to do them a lot. Actually, no. I don't think I have ever vlogged my sugar cookie days. I either want to take the mint or the little gnome face to my teacher. He will love it. He will love it. Which one are you going to eat? Probably going to I'm not even going to eat. I kind of want to use this decoration. Christmas lights are on. This is 
my favorite, and these are my final ones. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love this one the best. Me too. Oh, that looks really good. And I thought I was gonna do terrible. No, you did actually <laughs> wonderful. It makes me want to do this again. Okay, so she showed us these bags, and anytime I've done sugar cookies, I always do the like piping tip and the reusable bags, and I swear that's why I stopped doing sugar cookies is because it was so difficult to clean up but these are going to be a lifesaver. I'm gonna order them so we can do cookies so together can more. Do with you. Yeah, so we can do cookies together more. Me and my neighbor, that we swear we know each other, we're not sure how here, um, but she- I do not, like it's gonna bug me. <laughs> I know, you look, well that, did you hear me earlier? I was like, yeah, do you are you related like, to Kim? Well, I get that all the time. But I don't have any relatives here. Really? Like, I didn't grow up here. I I don't have any relatives here. Hmm. But people, I'll go to a restaurant and you look just like my cousin. Or that's funny. I just have one of those faces that's common, I guess. Really? Yeah. But we were saying how the cookies look so much better in their little decorative box. It's like, oh, that like makes them look more professional. <laughs> okay, I kind of have to tell you guys a little something. I get this all of the time. So Turn they're oh, on. Here we go. There was the sweetest girl, and I didn't know this until the very end, but at the very end of the cookie class, <coughs> ooh, are you okay? At the very end of the cookie class, a girl came up and said, I watch your YouTube videos, and I just really love you. And um, she was so cute, I loved meeting her. She was just the sweetest thing, and her cookies looked really good too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one of the other ladies that was there was like, oh, um, what is it that you do? And of course people are um, always really inquisitive because it's very different. Do you want to put your seatbelt on so it doesn't beep? So she was just asking a bunch of questions and I was answering them and she, and I hate this, um, and a, a lot of people do this and they're like, oh well, that's just living the dream, aren't you? And I just thought, I promise you I put more hours in in a day than the average person that works a 40 hour work week puts in. I will say that it's very, like, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard because I shouldn't let that bother me, but it just does because what I want to say to her is the stress and pressure of people coming at you every single direction. I don't, sometimes I can't even speak without being unfiltered because for fear of losing my job, un being unmonetized, for fear of, you know, oh, your dog has a shot collar. Oh, your dog has a shot collar. Tell me all about it. How dare you do that to your dog? Um, maybe you should consider talking to a vet. Maybe lot, like literally every single scenario of every single decision that I make gets attacked. And that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, it's just a little crazy. And then she was like, well, how old are your kids? I mean, how can you do that and actually feel safe? This is what she's saying to my face, guys. This is what she's saying to my face. And I'm in a room full of, you know, women that we were all just having a bunch of fun with and now all the attention is on me and I'm, I wanted to be like, this is the hard part of my job, being humiliated in front of a group of women. That's the hard part of my job. Or not knowing that someone is watching me. Because this has happened before. I was at the beach and someone came up to me and was like, um, do you work here? Can you get this for me? And I was like, oh, I actually don't work here, but there's a tent over here and that's where they work. And she goes, oh, okay. And then I got a tweet later that day that said, that was me that asked you that question on the beach. I wanted to ask you that and pretend that you were like like a worker, as in like a worker was a bad thing. That kind of bothered me too, but she was like, um, I just wanted to see how you would react and if you were really mean or if you were really nice. Surprisingly, you were really nice in person. <laughs> so it's just like little things like that. And then like the business side behind um, YouTube channels and things like, People don't even understand, like, my kids are part of a corporation. Like, I pay my kids. I, um, like, that's what Joel spent hours doing today was, like, setting up their retirement. And we help you and you help us. Yeah. <laughs> and not even, like, just the, like, even taxes part of it. That takes up a good portion. But there's so much more to it that you would ever that you would ever like think. So anyway, yes, I am living the dream. I will say that. But with 
every job, whether you work at Wendy's, whether because honey, I used to love a good Wendy's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, whether you work at Wendy's, whether you're a cookie maker, I mean, you could say the same thing about this wonderful woman that taught our classes. Oh, you make cookies for a living? Oh, you're just living the dream. You sit home and bake all day. But the stress that woman has to feel when she has a humongo order that she has to get done, the pressure of pleasing people, the pressure, I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter what job you have. You either work hard or you don't. You're either um, passionate and you work towards your goals or you don't. And so if it was that easy, everyone could just pick up the camera and make a living doing it. There's just, I don't know, we all have different talents, we all have different paths, we all have different, and just love and support each other. I mean, if it was any other job, I just, I don't know, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't criticize it, but anyway. <laughs> That is me venting. Can you tell I'm just venting a little? Olivia, I had the best night with you. I had the best night with you. We're so happy with our cute little cookies. My oh, hands. it's like, oh, there you go, the cute little cookies. Mom, we are so fun. And moms. Yep. Oh, don't let them tip, don't let them tip. They're not dry yet. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry for the rant at the end, but I really just wanted to like communicate that with you guys because I get it all the time and sometimes it can be frustrating. Okay, I'm totally rambling. I love you so much. I am appreciative of what I get to do for a living. I am and we love it and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I am living the dream, dang it. <laughs> but it doesn't come without work. Okay, bye. Bye. I put the camera away. We had about a 15 minute drive back to our house. Olivia went off on the drive home. I don't think I've ever felt more, um, like she was so loyal to me. She was so, she was like, you know what? <laughs> like she was sitting here listening to me. I wish so bad you could have heard her. She was so passionate. And she was like, do you know anyone else in this world that can train a dog the way my mom can did you do you even know anyone else in this world that runs a store the way my mom does and it was so cute to me because in her mind I run a store with Bali and she was like nobody needs to tell Aunt Ellie or you what to do because you know everything which honey clearly not true <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not true. I cry my eyes out daily because of the things that I don't know. But it's the fact that that's how she sees me. And I just, I remember a time when I was young and I thought my mom was such a butthead. And we were at a girls camp and one of the leaders kind of like, my mom had said something and she looked at me and was like, aw, about my mom. And I was like, mm. Mm, and I like scuzzed that other leader off and I went and stood by my mom and I was telling my mom about it and I remember my mom telling me like how good that made her feel that I took her side that like I had her back and and that is the feeling I felt she ended up in tears and she was just like there are millions of people in this world that do the things that you do and people don't yell at them nobody needs to be yelling at you there are millions of people that do what you do and I just swear to you I've never felt better in my life and it made it made my rant seem just non-existent like it did not even matter to me so disregard everything I just said because in the grand scheme of things like whatever it's fine um, and I'm completely over it truly I'm completely over it now and I just know people it's it's new to them it's different to them it's weird to them and they don't know so I I can't hold that against her I think I was venting because I was embarrassed and when I get embarrassed I get upset but I'm not embarrassed about what I do. I'm actually very confident. I used to be embarrassed about it when I was less confident in it. But now it's just like there's such a bigger picture to things. And I don't know. Anyway, um, that was the sweetest moment of my entire motherhood. That was, I've never felt more empowered than listening to her. And then did you hear her when she was getting out of the car? She was like, I could write an essay on that. <laughs> I love her so much. I love her so much. Okay, bye guys. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now. It's like they spell your name.